Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten back into Heliord and we were going to check some things out, but I think we're supposed to rest now? I'm not entirely certain what we're supposed to be doing here, so. Oh. How would you punish villains that the law can't touch? Flynn would have had a different answer, I'll bet. But who knows how many people are hurting because they're waiting for change that never comes. That's the answer I chose. I know, I know. I made up my mind and did what I did. I won't ignore my past. I'll probably have to talk with them about it sometime, too. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's something you'll have to bring up eventually. But, uh... As to when you bring that up, I'm not sure what the answer would be for that. Hmm. So what exactly, or where exactly, am I supposed to go? Because I've already gone in there. Maybe over here? Do you know what it means to be a sucker? A real sucker or someone who's... He faces life's challenges with no hope of winning from the outset. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. So what are we supposed to do? Search this place some more before moving on. Search it some more. What is that? I'm not sure I know what each person walks to the beat of a different drummer. All you can do is walk your own walk, but it's bound to give you your own unique scenery as you go. Shockingly deep, considering. Okay. Well then. Well, I don't know what else we're supposed to do here. <laughs> Check. No loitering are allowed. No, no, move along. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know what else to do then. It's kind of at a loss right now, really. What am I supposed to be looking for? This town is rotten. What do you mean? What? Knights are bound by confidentiality. I cannot say. Okay. Well. That doesn't give me much either. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Don't see anything weird going on with the... Blastia here. At least not nearly what... You know... I would expect to be happening. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing. Give me a second. I'm going to try and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, I looked through what was available in-game and it didn't tell me nothing. So, I'm just going to go to the inn and sleep there. Maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. I'll just do it just because I have no other options. I'm not allowed to leave in any other way, so... Yeah, let's rest. Yep, that was what I had to do. Clearly. Uh... 
Okay. I guess I can't let things go either. So while everyone's supposed to be resting, Judith goes off. Does her own thing, I guess. I should probably save, just in case. Okay, there we go. Save done. Let's see what's going on. Down here, maybe? Nope, not allowed. Okay. Then where did she go? Go in here, maybe? Oh, there's no guard over here anymore. Nope. Then I have tried this entire side of the small map. Where do I go next? The other side. That's the only other option I have at this point. There she is. Late night stroll? Something like that. The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess I you wouldn't, not. riding around on that monster. Yeah. His name is Baul, and he's not a monster. Baul. Baul. Okay. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. The war? War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. Okay. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. That's fair. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. Yeah, some of them are a little more recent. Not really a skeleton yet. Heh? <laughs> eh? 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 That was a good joke. Shut up. <laughs> He's a strange one. Yeah, and? Your point? Well, shall we have a look around the town? Yeah, we sure. We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Yeah, we do. Okay. So now with that done... The shopping more or less taken care of. Let's look at the Blastia. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Well, yes and no. Sorry, I had to yawn. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like it, but there's no telling when it'll do it again. Hmm. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Mrs. Estelle! Oh, hey! 
How have you been? Who is this? Well, I also noticed the husband isn't here. We help these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Hmm. Teagle, okay. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. Who promised that? What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Kumor gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Sir Kumor. Kumor? From the Imperial Knights? Uh-oh. Yes, he is Some... acting as the current magistrate of the city. Oh, joy. So we went from one nut job in the magistrate of the city to the other nut job. Just one is controlled by the knights, and the other was part of the council. Okay, well, at least the council one is no longer going to be a problem. <laughs> Humor is going to be a little harder to deal with. Okay, all right, well, fun. I'll bet he is. Mm -hmm. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then, then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I mean... I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well, okay, that's fine. We're what? doing a lot. I... We're doing a lot of work on just promised fees. I mean, <laughs> we're doing a lot of work on just promises from a princess. Where, while valid and probably good for it, no one else should do that. No one else should do it based on promises of pay. Like that. Mm. So this means our next job is finding a missing person. It seems like it. And if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Yeah, sounds about right. Right. The knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. And if they don't do that, we slap them around to remind them. Yeah, that's that's. I guess that's how that works. Let's just make sure we're careful. Yeah, sure. The knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. Well, true. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Mm. Remember? Careful! Carol, shut up. <laughs> Quit being a worry wart. No loitering there loud. Okay, alright. A way we could get in. Okay, so I'm not allowed to move on, is what you're telling me. Okay. 
Oh, then where do I go? Oh, the guard's back. Okay. Okay. I keep searching that area, hoping or thinking that something is going to happen, and just clearly doesn't. All right. Oh, I guess I'd I like talked to, to you if instead. I could. Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborers camp ahead is too dangerous. Hm. Why is the laborers camp dangerous? Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. Yeah. But how should we get by the guards? I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. You're not wrong. However, we can't be jackasses about it, so... No! I won't allow it! Carol's just being a worrywart. Okay. Uh, why am I not surprised? Oh, give me a second. I'm noticing something off screen. Huh. All right. Sorry about that. I had to check on something real quick. All righty. So, Carol won't allow it. All right. Well, then what do we do? All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Yeah, that's a good question. Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. <laughs> this is really the best idea you came up with. Really? Are you for real? And who are you suggesting does that? Carol, who are you suggesting does, does that? I think I have an idea of who he is suggesting does that. Okay, Judith, go do your stuff. Well, then. <laughs> I can choose who does it. <laughs> okay, well, they've already laid the groundwork for the bit. Let's just continue on with the bit. Well, Judy, you're probably the best choice. Yes, I think so. And she goes along with it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Judy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Aren't you sure of yourself? Shut the fuck up, Carol. Shut the fuck up. This was your idea. This was your idea. And you came up with it. With a scantily clad lady within two to three feet of you as you said it. Shut the fuck up. Okay. All right. Well then, shall we? Yeah, shall we? Where are we going? You to guys will wait right of here. Course. To buy I can't address. see there's anyone in these rags. I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't know about that. <sighs> Isn't what you're wearing good enough? No, no. My pride would never allow it. Oh, come on, your pride. Your pr Okay. I don't really understand, but she appears to be going to buy a dress. <laughs> <sighs> Yuri at least agrees with me. This is... Borderline unnecessary, but okay. So she's going to see the peddler, then? 
the peddler. With Judas seducing the guard, this plan can't fail! I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, <clears throat> Carol. What can I do to be like Judas? <laughs> hmm? Did you say something, Estelle? Oh, no, just talking to myself. Not, not, not. Also, I'm sorry, Estelle. What? <laughs> uh? Pardon? <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. What can I do to be more like Judith? That was a question I didn't expect to read. Excuse me. I'm looking for some fascinating outfits. Fascinating, you say? Fascinating? Are you out for a date? <laughs> how about this? Oh, it's something like that. Ugh, how plain. Hmm. Wow. Well, uh, how about this one? Nope. All right. Then what about this? What exactly are you looking for? <laughs> Stella's basically dozing off in the corner. And <laughs> she's gone so far as to drive the shopkeeper insane. <laughs> for example... <gasps> no way! I have nothing like that. Then could you possibly make one for me? Let's are you see. kidding me? If you brought me a soft tail, basilisk scale, and a small bird feather, I could make you something nice. You should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city. All right, let's go. Judas really into this, isn't she? Yeah. Seems like she likes this sort of thing. It's almost as if she was planning something like this. Almost as if. Do I not have those things on my person? Oh, you've brought the items. I do. Wait cool. here while I make you something nice. All right. Okay. Not, not, not. What do you say? Not, not, okay not, 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 not. Ah! <laughs> Dropped it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is Estelle wearing? What? <laughs> I was paying more attention to Judith. I just noticed. What? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, then. All right. Okay. All right. You didn't have to change your costume like that. I think they kind of did. So grown-ups are interested in these kind of outfits. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Carol. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Get out. Shut up. You're too young for this. Get out. Go to your room. Get out of here. You fucking child. Get out. <laughs> God damn it. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> All right. All is ready. Let's go. Yeah, all is ready. Hey, okay. Are you seriously going out in that outfit? Apparently, the answer is yes. Huh? Something wrong with this? I'm. Uh, I plead the fifth. Well, I could see everything. Uh, never mind that. <laughs> I could say everything, but that's not the point, now, is it? It's very cute. And I have a feeling that this is going to work. Sure, you have the feeling it's going to work. Yeah, sure. I don't know about cute, though. Something. It's something. Before that, could you do something about your outfit? <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't expect to be walking around as Judith. <laughs> That was not what I expected. Okay, we have to... Okay. <laughs> Is that a fuck... No. No, I have to get somewhere where the camera angle is better. Is that a fucking bunny... That is a fucking bunny tail. That is a fucking bunny tail. <laughs> uh... 
<laughs> Come on. Are you for real right now? Are you for real right now? What? <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, at least Estelle changed back. Oh, it's so hot out here. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> oh, oops. Did you get an eyeful just now? <laughs> Just now, I think everyone in town got an eyeful, Judith. <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. I didn't even see if there was anything to see. Uh huh. Oh, is that so? That's a shame. <laughs> uh, it's a shame. A uh, shame, Are huh? Are you going to make me say it out loud? Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> I've fallen madly in love with your big, strong <laughs> work ethic. <laughs> madly in love? You're overselling it, Judith. Just, just, just fucking lead him on mm -hmm. already. Just so you get what I'm saying, right? Oh my god, the fucking vocal fry. The fucking vocal fry on top of it. You had, you had to, you had to do that. You absolutely had to do that. Okay, then. Alrighty, let's move on, please. Uh, um, uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe we should just stop this bit. Let's just go maybe right now, please. Maybe I just have to come out and make it clear. Would you like for you and me to have, uh... A little fun. Oh my gods, are you serious? Oh my gods, are you serious? Yeah, but, but uh, there's someone back in the capital I, I promised to marry. Mm -hmm. No, don't be such a stick in the mud. Mm -hmm. But I, uh... Well, I that didn't. That didn't take much, did it? So much for that betrothed. Eh? And Good work. <laughs> bonk. <laughs> Just straight up bonk. Okay. I didn't think I was going to be able to survive another minute of this whole bit. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Can't Lanta. Adults can be easily fooled like this. Oh yeah, yeah. when 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 things are uh, <laughs> things are a little heated and a uh, bit of the uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, rigid mm, mm, um, you know um, the uh, mm, you know what? Shut up, Carol. Go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> and how long are you gonna stay in that costume good question i guess this calls too much attention i'll leave it at the shop you guess but what was the fun thing you were talking about oh boy estelle doesn't know either oh, mm, mm. well you see when um uh, when you mm, you see, when, uh, um, um, Estelle, go to your room. <laughs> That's the best I got. Going for a swim. <laughs> I mean, nice save? Question mark? All right. On to the next step. Huh? What? 
<laughs> what do you mean, huh, what? It should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who, uh, boy. Me? But I guess it's just me. Carol would work just as well. What? Me? Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know. He is a bit short. There might be constant questions about that. <laughs> well, you already did the other bit. Might as well go with this bit. Carol, you do it. You you want me to dress up as a knight? But will the suit fit me? Ugh, it's hard to move around. <sighs> Don't worry, you'll get used to it quickly. I wonder. Hey, quit goofing off over there. Uh, huh? Uh -huh. You get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. No, more you out of hand. Along. Wait, let go! Yuri, why didn't you help him out? I, uh, was taken by surprise it all happened so fast. <laughs> what a canned response. We should go and see what's happened. <laughs> yeah. Carol left the party because he got dragged away. What's going on in the Knight's Quarters first? Really? So we have to go to the Chevalier's HQ. What could be going on in there? Good question. <laughs> Good question. Okay. Yuri's of the same mind. Carol is in there, right? Yeah, right now. Yeah. Suppose we should go take a look. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh. Rita. Well, hello, Rita. Doing here? Better question. What are you doing here? Was it you causing all that racket in here? You guys. Do you think Carol's all right? Yeah, Carol. Carol. Yeah, he was laying on the ground. He's fine. Probably a little knocked around, but fine. What is that runt here too? Yeah, right behind you, actually. What? You still want some? Hold up, Carol. Yeah. Rita, you suck. <laughs> Carol rejoined the party and I'm sure Rita will soon. Okay. Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. Mm hmm But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. They did what? Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there, too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hope Loan Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. For a what? They wouldn't. You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's got to be Kumor. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. I'm not surprised. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Kerbakrum. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? Yeah, that's the guy. I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... um... Beat up Qmore? You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. 
Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait, we're being careful, right? Carol, I think careful has now gone the way of the dodo, but sure. But... One thing at a time. R right. Okay, then let's get back to our original <sighs> plan and head down. Yep. Okay. Rita joined the party again. All right, cool. I'm impressed that you passed for a real knight, Carol, despite your height. It's amazing, especially considering he wasn't wearing the full suit of armor. That knight must have been so panicked that he didn't see anything besides your helmet. People Maybe. usually notice things like that, though, right? Oh. Then why'd you put me up to this in the first place? Because <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> Hide! Uh-oh. Ah, my lord. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogo now, sir? I'm sorry, what is that accent? That accent seems to be like a mix of German and Slavic. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to think about that accent. Also, is this Frieza-looking motherfucker wearing a goddamn codpiece? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. So he has gone mad with power. I Using see. the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. I knew it. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Leviathan's Claw. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. Why am I not surprised his name is Jaeger? Okay. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Don is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. I thwacked my microphone, I'm sorry, but... Uh, I had to itch my eyeballs and just wonder what the hell I'm... <laughs> wonder what the hell I'm listening to. Okay. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Okay. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. So he's intending on trying to make a move for Commandant. Okay. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. The Union can't possibly hope to stop me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So mm -hmm. now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right. If we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital, so even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air credit. I just thought I'd say hi or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. Mm -hmm. You stay out of this! Oh, come on. We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that. Yeah, that's a fair point. But before we go, hopefully I can save. I can. Good. 
and a lot of things have happened already. Also, I should double check that equipment for Rita is all set as good as it's going to get. Holy cloak. Oh, that's actually better for her. Hell yeah. Um, tartan ribbon is better than the purple. I could get her other thing, couldn't I? I'm pretty sure I can make that. I can make that sub-weapon for her. Yes, I can! Now I can, anyway. Have grimoire pages. Just give me. There we go. Make one of those, and we're good. Okay, could I buy other things? Okay. Just making sure what I can buy and what I can't. I think I am all topped off on those. Yes, I am. Okay, good. Then, all right. Equip Rita with that. Lowers her agility by quite a bit, but raises her attack and magic by a significant amount as well. So we'll call that, you know, an even trade. Happiness 1, 2, and 3. Really? Occasionally increases XP earned, LP, and amount of gold. Okay. Then there we go. Should I sell the other one? I don't think... Yeah, I don't think these upgrade. Yeah, I don't think these upgrade, so I might as well sell it. Uh, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think they upgrade. Alright, we'll sell it. Okay. And now we save. Alright, and now with the save done, I'm going to end the episode because we are quite a bit closer to the end of the episode time. And I have a bit of editing to do. Or technically, Reggie has editing to do. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to figure out what we're doing here. And now we found out that there's actually a forced labor camp going on. Uh, instigated by the knights, technically, under Qmore. And at this point, Qmore is trying to aim for a Commandant Alexei's job to try and start a war with the guild again, or something to that effect. The guilds, I should say, in Dongrest. And then from there, it gets more complicated. So I guess we'll have to follow this thread as far as it'll take us to see what the whole tapestry will look like for you.